Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So, in today's tutorial, we are going to display and Google Map inside our Android app using Bayview, right? So, as you can see, this is an Android application and this is a Google Map which is available inside my Android app. As you can see, this is the Google Map which I had displayed inside my application using Bayview. So, without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So head back to Android Studio and this is a demo application in which we are going to create our web view, right? So before uh, developing our applications, just go to your build.gradle file and here we need to add the designs uh, dependency which is this one and uh, it should be with the material uh, dependency that is this one. So make sure that this board dependency uh, you has been installed inside your Android app and the link of the project you in description from there you can refer these dependencies. Uh, so uh, you first of all you need to add this dependency and uh, sync your project once your project has been successfully synced just go to your manifest file and here uh, add this line of code that is internet permission uh, make sure if you don't do this thing if you didn't add this uh, internet permission in your manifest file your application will unable to display uh, the web view uh, and any of the website inside your web view right so once you have done this all things just go to your kotlin file and go to your xml file and add this uh, web view inside here so i had given it to a bit and height as match paint and a margin of 8 dp but you can do it as per your wish whatever you want to do and just go to your main kotlin file and add create uh, first of all declare this progress dialog if you want this i had declared it at the top and after that i had created a method which is known as init view so Whenever I open this application, first of all, it has uh, the progress bar will be initialized here, and it will be shown, right? And uh, it will show, and after that, immediately the I had passed here the link of the Google Maps, right? Inside the map view. So first thing is uh, you need to enable the JavaScript enable so that it can load any of the website in JavaScript website into a map view. So it should be enabled as true and uh, pass the web link of the website here in load URL, right? So just these two lines of code will load the whole web page into your uh, this uh, web view. After that, uh, once this all things has been done, I have called the handler method, which means that uh, after two seconds. Uh, once the application has been open uh, to this activity after two seconds it will dismiss my progress bar right so it will be shown as like uh, something like uh, first when you open the application uh, it will take two seconds to get load as you can see in this demo application it will take two seconds to get load and until that the website will be loaded into my web view and after that after two seconds it will the progress bar will be dismissed right so in this video i'm doing this type of stuff so that's all for today's tutorial and in this way you can display any website inside your Android application and I hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.